Okay, welcome to day five of Turn It On Again, our month-long tribute to the band Genesis on Kiss Rock Review. And as I've mentioned before, part of the whole reason for this uh, tribute is that I am going to go see Genesis at the end of the month when their last domino tour hits uh, North America. And, you know, as I just mentioned, the title of the uh, tour is called The Last Domino, and it's Last Domino question mark. And for those of you that don't know, who are just like, uh, listen to Genesis and just know the big hits, The Last Domino is a song from Invisible Touch. Actually, the song is actually called Domino, and it's on the Invisible Touch album. It's on side two. And actually, the song has two different sections. One song, but it has two sections. The first section is called In the Glow of the Night, and the second section is called The Last Domino. And um, I think, and some other people think, it's become one of the uh, important songs in, even though it was a later era Genesis song, it's become an important song in the Genesis canon. But as I said, there's two sections to it, In the Glow of the Night, and then The Last Domino, to this one song called Domino. Um... In the glow of the night, it starts out sounding like a typical song about lost love. I mean, here, listen, listen to some of the lyrics that I, that I wrote down for this. The gray of evening fills the room. There's no need to look outside to see or feel the rain. I reach across to touch her, but I know that she's not there. You know, now that sounds like a typical, you know, lost love song. Oh, my lover's not here beside me. But then as the song goes on... It sort of gets a little darker. You know, the narrator starts talking about violence and silent tombs in this in this opening section. And then by the time the second section hits, you know, you hear it's definitely darker. You realize it's a lot darker. You realize something else is going on. Blood on the windows. Millions of ordinary people are there. They gaze at the scenery. They act as if it is perfectly clear. Take a look at the mountains. Take a look. At the beautiful river of blood. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a typical uh, lost love song to me. And I actually read today that when Tony Tony Banks, who wrote the lyrics for the song, the the song itself was a uh, the musical parts of the song were a collaboration between Tony Banks, Phil Collins, and Mike Rutherford. And then Tony Banks wrote the lyrics for the song. And what he has said it is about lovers that got separated during a nuclear war. And then he was inspired, the lyrics, not inspired, I don't know if that's quite the word, but um, he was watching old footage of the bombing of Beirut during the Lebanon War, and that's where he got the idea for the song. And as I said, it's become an important song in the Genesis canon. First off, it's been played on every tour since uh, it was written, since the, since the Visible Touch, that was the name of the tour, since the Visible Touch uh, tour. It was even played on the Calling All Stations tour when Ray Wilson temporarily took over as lead singer of Genesis in the late 90s. And there's one critic of The Guardian uh, named Stevie Chick, and this is what she said about Domino, the song Domino. She said, Domino is the highlight of the Invisible Touch album. Um, and quote, this is the quote, it is a fusion of everything Genesis had ever been or become. It's an 11-minute epic, end quote. And it shows both their sort of pop sensibility from the 80s and the prog rock roots that they had. So when people say, when people say to me, how can you like that 80s Genesis stuff? They gave up all their prog rock uh, roots. They were just a pop band. You know, I will point, I will say, listen to Domino on Invisible Touch, and you'll realize they never really gave up their prog rock roots. There's not many 11-minute uh, pop songs, and then there's not many pop songs themselves that are about a nuclear war. So I'm going to put a video. They didn't. They never released it as a single, but I'm going to put a video. It's going to be a live video um, of them doing Domino in the comments, and you'll see it's it's as prog rocky as anything that Genesis ever did. So. Take a look. Give me some comments. Let me, let me tell, I want you to tell me what you think about uh, Domino. And I'll place another video tomorrow. Until then, as always on Kit's Rock Review, keep on rocking in the free world.